Hello everybody. Sorry for my lateness. <laughs> I was I was really falling behind. I um <laughs> I was I was just struggling to like get like the last few uh T's <laughs> dashed and I's dotted and such. Um so yeah, I apologize for being slightly late on the on the start time there. Um I hope you're all doing well today. Uh lovely to be back with some more fun times in the Forever Lock Challenge here with Pokemon Sword or uh, Shield, that the other one. <laughs> I <laughs> know what I'm... Oh man, what... I'm off to a fantastic start today, holy cow. Um, but yes, I hope everyone is doing well today. Um, but yeah, so uh, just... Uh, I'm already on the uh, the menu screen here, I figure. Because uh, I have a little surprise for you guys. Um, but uh, yeah, so quick quick little team recap. There has been some grinding, of course. We needed to do quite a bit of grinding before we, um, before we jumped into the next gym today. Um, so that's... Um, that's all squared away now. We've got the whole squad here up to level 35. It's looking pretty snazzy, if I do say so myself. Um, did lots of uh, Dynamax stuff. Did lots of um, uh, experience candies. Just general grinding. Um, so yeah, everyone is looking really, really good now. I'm actually quite pleased. we got some Dynamax levels up, which is fantastic. That will help a lot against the gems. Um, so not, I'm not like maxed out or anything. I just like I got a bunch of candies from doing max raids. And, um, you know those help <laughs> so um but in any case let's uh, let's do the quick quick little team recap here we got um cindy the charmeleon uh looking very nice eventual charizard with slash fire fang flamethrower and dragon breath uh we have tyler with water gun counter jaw lock and ice fang learned learned jaw lock which is i don't think i remember that move really <laughs> i must have because i did use dread knob oh gosh excuse me um i did use dread knob my first playthrough of shield so um Clearly, I must be familiar with the move, but I just don't. Rem I didn't remember it at all when it learned. I was like, "What is this?" <laughs> um, so yeah, that's fun. Um, next up, we have uh, Johnny. Johnny looking good with Toxic Protect. Ooh, very good. Spark and Acid. Uh, love, love that we have the Toxicity now. That's looking really nice. I did also, for those who were curious, um, I did fix my module so that Toxic Toxicity now works properly. <laughs> I did test it, so that's that's exciting. Um, next up, uh, this one's, this one's pretty big. Uh, I totally forgot that, um, <laughs> I totally forgot that the, um, Galar starters, um, they evolve at 35 instead of 36. Uh, so I was like, okay, cool. Well, this will work out great. I'll get everyone up to 35 and then, uh, I'll be able to get, uh, Thwacky and Charmeleon to evolve, um, you know, uh, like next stream, presumably. And I was like, <laughs> then when I hit 35 and it started evolving, I was like, oh, Right, I forgot about that. So, uh, sorry you guys missed the actual evolution moment, but our our starter is now fully evolved. That's very exciting. We got ourselves the Rillaboom. That is wonderful. Uh, Screech knockoff. It learned drum beating, which was really cool. Um, I, I I think someone had said that that was like a tutor only move, but I guess I guess there must have been some confusion with it. But uh, yeah, drum beating and taunt. Uh, so looking good. Drum roll. Really really good. Um, Next up is Billy. Billy, our little our little borb, our little rookity. Uh, Pluck, Taunt, Drill Peck, and Hone Claws. Looking really nice. Uh, and then Lie Midnight with Dig, Takedown, Night Slash, and Counter. Uh, looking very nice. Uh, new, the new team member here, Lie Midnight, as opposed to Lie Noon, in case the, the pun was not obvious. <laughs> um, so yeah, looking, looking real nice. So there's our squad. Um, now... Uh, as I mentioned, I did have a sli uh, slight surprise. It's nothing too major or super, super exciting, but um, I mentioned yesterday how I really wanted to make sure that we grabbed a Galarian Corsola on this playthrough, and uh, I, I did some, some research and found out that uh, apparently there are certain dates at which the weather will always be consistent in certain places. Um, so I, I looked up the date for what, uh, what was... Uh, like what what date it needed to be in order for it to like be a guaranteed overcast um in the area where you get galarian corsola and t uh so i changed it so that today is that day uh on my switch and as a result we have if you can see it's just a little ba little baby poking up in the grass there we have ourselves galarian corsola baby <laughs> galarian corsola there it is that is what we want that is what we want. We have been after this, <laughs> so I'm very excited. I, I hope that we can we can snag it here real fast. Go for a dragon breath. Maybe get the paralysis. That would be nice. I love. I never noticed that he little he like floats around a little bit. That's kind of cute. <laughs> hey, we get the paralysis. Very nice. So yeah, we're. Uh, I figured that we go ahead and start off today with um, 
when trying to snag one of these guys. Um, very exciting, very exciting. I was uh, I was very pumped to learn that there was a, an actual like finite method that didn't require um, a stupid amount of RNG to, <laughs> to be able to do the things that I wanted to do. So that was quite pleasing uh, to find out. Um, the, my, my internal clock says that it's March 1st, but I assure you that it's wrong. <laughs> Today is the 16th, but the game thinks it's the first, so there we go. <laughs> and I'll probably just leave it that way for the rest of uh, at least this stream. I'll probably change it back uh, in time for the next uh, S.H.I.E.L.D. stream. But um, yeah, worked out pretty well. Worked out pretty well. I was, I was quite pleased. And it also means that I can do that sort of thing. If I ever need to do any weather-based things in the future as well, I have options for that. So that's good. That is very good. All right, let's go with um. I guess, I guess just a Pokeball might work. Let's let's try that. What do you say, Corsola? You want to stay in that Pokeball? That'd be a negative. All right then. Just reducing my dragon breath. Dra uh, dragon breath left and right. My word. Uh, okay, great ball, go. Oh, come on. I wonder what the catch rate is. Oh, God, it has curse. Oh, no. Please don't. Please don't. No! Aw! That's so lame! Aw, oh, that's so lame! One, I didn't know. I mean, I guess I could. I should have guessed that it had curse. But, no! I did so much work for you! <laughs> No, oh, that's so stupid. Ah, that's the only place to get Galarian Corsola, so I guess it's a wash for this run. That sucks. I jumped through so many hoops for that. <laughs> that's so stupid. Hey there, Pingu. Welcome. Well then, that that freaking blows. Um, well, no Galarian Corsola for us, unless we happen to bump into one in a max raid den, which I did not see any today. So, unfortunate. Well. That was uh, so much for that surprise. <laughs> and that's super lame. I, I don't know why I didn't think about it having curse. I, it is a ghost type, so it like checks out. But oh, that's so frustrating. <laughs> yeah, I mean, well, it's just I, it didn't stay in the first two ball. I threw two balls at it, Pingu. Like, I feel like it should have stayed, especially in the great ball. Especially in the great ball. That's super, super bummy. Uh, I'm, I'm a little bit upset about that. But oh, well, uh, next time, I guess. Are we, I'm going to buy some more Great Balls, just in case. We will have some encounters to get today, so. But yeah, that's um, that was super, super unfortunate. That means it's going to be a long, long while before we can get ourselves the Corsola, because um, presumably we're going to not be playing Shield again after, or at least immediately after this playthrough. Of course, we'll play it again in the future, but um, presumably it's going to be a while. And... Um, uh, Corsola is shield exclusive, so <laughs> no Corsola, no Co no Corsola, no Cursola for a very long time. That is super unfortunate. Oh well, um, I have not I've done like no nothing in in Stow on side, so I guess we got to do that stuff real quick. We might have to fight Hop, which is fine. Uh, we will jump into a Hop battle, no problem. Blitz. I'm still not too sure what to do about all that stuff I told you before about me weak and being weak and dragging down Lee's good name and all, yeah? But the only thing I can do is get stronger, right? So I'm gonna try out all kinds of different things against you and see what works. You're on. Then let's do this. I bet an all-out battle with my true rival will help me get my head on straight. Uh, Pinky says at this point I'm, I'm hop, judging by the accent. I mean, I'm, I'm trying my best here. <laughs> Alright, Cramorant to start with, okay. Well, that's uh, unfortunate for Cindy. We'll have to switch. I don't think I have an electric type, so that's a little bit unfortunate, actually. Let me uh, let me swap out here. Uh, oh no, I have an electric type. Duh, I have Johnny. Duh, I just forgot. I forgot because I wasn't using um, Toxel a whole lot up until it, it finally evolved. I'm, I'm not used to it. <laughs> a fury attack. Ooh, take your Rocky Helmet damage. <laughs> very nice. Very, very nice. Ooh. <laughs> Unfortunate for you there, Cremorant. Alright, well, catch the spark. You're definitely going down. 
Oh, I love I love uh, Toxtricity's animations. They're so good. I love that he just like kind of like does a like this big stupid kick. Very nice. It's very it's very satisfying to watch. Hey, Cindy hits 36. Y'all know what that means. That's very exciting. Okay, Silicobra is coming out. That is of course a ground type. Uh, let's go into drum roll. And yeah, I'm feeling I'm feeling pretty dang confident uh, about taking on Alistair too, since we got our team quite up quite up to snuff. His uh, his Gengar is still kind of intimidating, but we should be in a really really good really good place for taking on Alistair at this point. By the time we actually get to him, we should we'll probably have the whole squad at 36, which is perfect because his just his Gengar is 36, so that's very nice. Okay, Toxel. That is, uh, let's do the, the Midnight because we have Dig. That'll work just fine. I think this is, I think this is my Midnight's uh, battling debut, at least on, 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 on stream. I did, of course I use it for a little bit of grinding, but um, yeah. Let Midnight go. Goes for a little Dig. That'll, that'll bonk the Toxel real good. Yep, it's gone. Ooh, static. Unfortunate, but that's alright. That is alright. I can work around it. Alright, next up is the Drizzile. That is another job for... I could do Johnny or I could do uh, Drumroll. Uh, let's do Johnny. Why not? Johnny hasn't gotten to see as nearly as much action since uh, being added to the team, so... We might as well try and uh, have some fun with him. I don't know what I could do to try and win now, but all I could do is try. I didn't see what the rest of the... But that actually went by really quick. I didn't press the button, so that was weird. <laughs> that went by really quick before I could even read it. All right, give the spark. Have a taste of true power. We're going to crash right over you. Water pulse, okay. Color me spooked. Bonk. <laughs> yeah, that'll do the trick. Sorry, Hop. Sorry to discourage you, my friend. My strategy goes right to pot when I've got all these bad thoughts running through my head. Sorry, Charlie. Hey, there we go. Uh, Cindy. Cindy, our Charizard, is moving up in the world. Very exciting stuff. I get to update the layout. Ooh, look at the Charizard. How very nice. How very nice. Into slot two it goes. Ba-bam. There we go. We got ourselves a Charizard. That's very cool. Very, very cool to see. We got we got the Charizard. And it's a Gigantamax Charizard too, which is really cool. That's just fun. It's just really fun. Air Slash. Uh, forget an old move. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, let's see, are we are we physical or special Charizard? It looks like we're special, actually. Interesting. Uh, I guess we can go ahead and get rid of Fire Fang, then. Um, I guess I could get rid of Slash. Yeah, let's just get rid of Slash. That, that's fine. I'll, I'll hold on to Fire Fang, just in case I do need to hit something on the physical side. That'll be nice. Hmm. I tried switching my team members in and out to max out their potential in every matchup, but we just couldn't get it together somehow. Maybe that's why I'm still so weak. But Lee really is the greatest trainer, and I don't want people to be laughing at him all because his little brother is rubbish. It's not enough. I've got to try harder. And harder and harder until no one's laughing. I'm off, mate. Off to, the, off to find the kind of Pokemon that I can really draw the strength out of. I believe in you, buddy. That child. Gym challengers should battle for the sake of their own Pokemon. Why worry about saving the champion's name? We all know he's unbeatable. Anyway, here's something for letting me watch your battles. Hey, we got Alistair's League card. Nice. Thanks, Opal. Now, on you go, child. You're heading to Stow on Side Gym next, no? The gym challenger is about having f the gym challenge is about having fun. And then she does the slow walk, which is wonderful. <laughs> Very cool. Okay, cool. Well, that's taken care of. Uh, let's go quickly hit up the Pokemon Center real fast. Just get our, our health health restored and junk. Uh, at least, well, 
Hold on, I'm, I'm curious. Did it auto heal me? No, it didn't. Okay, cool. <laughs> Let's heal up then real fast, and then we'll uh, then we'll head on into uh, to take on Alistair. Oh, I'm still mad about that. I'm still mad about that Corsola, though. <laughs> I'm going to try not to let it get to me too badly, but oh, I really am upset about that Corsola. I jumped through so many hoops. I did, like, so much research. I mean, not like, not like it was, like, this huge undertaking or anything like that, but it was just it's just the principle of it. It's just like, oh, I did extra work for it, and then, you know, it just it just died. It just died because of its own curse. That's so dumb. <sighs> oh, well. Oh, well. I, now I know for next time. In any case, let's head on in. Let's talk to Ball Guy. Hey there, Ball Guy. You got you got a heavy ball for me? Yeah, cool, cool, cool. Oh man, that's gonna throw me like from now on. Uh, heavy balls work completely differently in Legends Arceus. So, um, <laughs> like the fact that, uh, that that they're in both both this game and in that game and function completely differently is just gonna throw me off so bad. It really, really is. Um, okay, so. Who do we want to lead with here? Uh, I could probably lead with... Um... Why well, Midnight might be good. Let's do that. Let's do that. That sounds good. Alright, let's go. Eep, Challenger! Are you here to challenge the gym? I am. Okay, in that case, please change it to your uniform. Yes, the changing room is uh, right over there. Number 74, do your best. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. All right, I love this gym. This is this is one of the most creative and fun and like just kind of genuinely interesting gyms that they've ever done, honestly. <laughs> I think it's really, really cool. I, I've never actually played the... Um, the, the fighting equivalent of, to it. I know it's the same, but um, I think it's very flavorful in this one. Allow me to explain the gym mission for this to one side gym. To complete the mission, you'll need to ride in one of these cups and make your way to the goal while trying to avoid obstacles. Let me tell you a bit more how to operate this fun attraction. Rotate your control stick to the right and cut the cup. Okay, yeah, we got it. We got it. We got it, Dan. Thanks very much. And on you spin, and good luck. Thank you, thank you. All right, let's do, let's go. Yeah, what a what a fun little like. It's cool that it's like basically just like its own kind of game. Like it's it's not like uh, unlike other gyms where it's basically just you know the regular Pokemon you know movement mechanics and you do a thing with them. Um, this one is like it's just like it's it's literally like it's something they had to design from the ground up. And I just think that's really like it's kind of unusual in in regards to Pokemon because they do so often like take so many shortcuts, but. No, they just they kind of went on out went all out on this one, and I appreciate it. I really, really do. I think it's fun. All right, gym trainer, gym trainer Clive's got the pump kaboo. Yeah, uh, Lime Midnight should actually be super, super clutch in this gym because it's immune to ghosts and it and it does super effective damage to them with that uh, with the night flash. So that's very, very cool. Bonk. Yeah, that'll do the trick. <laughs> Very nice. Tyler hits 36. Wonderful. All right, another uh, Phantom. Okay, we got that. We got that. Another Ghosty Grass friend. I love Phantom. It's so cute. It's so stinking cute. Uh, hey there, Secret Boss Sauce. Yes, I did. Unfortunately, yesterday we lost... Um, uh, oh god, uh, we lost our uh, Galarian Meowth, yeah, at uh, Norse. It was very unfortunate. <laughs> very, very unfortunate indeed. Um, ooh, Johnny hits 36. Ooh, learning Discharge? Hell yeah. Hell yeah, I want that. Um, I kind of want to hold on to Acid just in case, so I guess we'll get rid of Spark. Feels kind of bad, but that's alright. That's alright. We're Special Attacker anyway. Alright, very good. Uh, Pumpkaboo. Another one. We got this. Uh, what killed it? Oh god, what was it? Um, oh, that's right. We were, we were doing max raids, and, uh, I was, I was trying to do some, like, grinding with max raids and stuff, and, um, uh, it died to a, uh, Dynamax Toxtricity. 
Um, I thought I thought I could handle it with um, with the, with the ground with the ground uh, max move, but unfortunately, it um, like it, I think it was just kind of bad RNG because it was like um, the the max raids they could do multiple turns in a row, right? So um, I think I just got really bad RNG because he took like three turns in a row, uh, so that was pretty awful. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's how it went down, unfortunately. I thought for sure that like you know a ground a good ground move would destroy a toxicity, but uh, apparently I made a horrid miscalculation. All right, gym trainer Clive goes down. No, you can't evolve, Choodle. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Okay, into the next cup. Whoa, too much, too much. <laughs> Got a little overzealous there. Oh wait, this is the wrong way, isn't it? Okay, well. Yeah, what a fun gym. What a fun gym. This is a, this is a really cool one. I wouldn't mind if they just had a whole game that was this. <laughs> that would be fun. But like, make obviously make it a little bit more, you know, challenging, but... I digress. Well, oh, I could have made that if I'd not screwed it up there. There we go, beautiful. Next trainer. SPSS tried in vain the other night to get a Dracovish with strong jaw. Hit a den where it spawns and forgot it only gets the hidden its hidden ability there. Ooh, feels bad, SPS. Sorry to hear that. <laughs> Is, is Strong Jaw just his default ability? Ah, uh, I want one of those, dang it. <laughs> I want a Corsola. Okay, it's living. I had a feeling it would. It's really defensive. Ah, uh, okay, cool. I'll say we just got a we just got a drink of yesterday. It probably has the strong jaw ability. <laughs> All right, let's finish off Corsola. Uh, I I revived it with the fossils SBS, so I uh, I got I had the um the Dra the Draco fossil I think that's what it's called Drac Drac the dragon one, <laughs> uh, and then I also had the the, the fish fossils. So uh, yeah, I just I just uh, revived them and they combined. Uh, Dapper Kirby says, ah, this gym rocks. The pinball theme is unfitting and has nothing to do with ghosts or fighting, but the colors and controls are so fun that I don't care. E exactly, Dapper Kirby. I don't know, I think it's kind of flavorful because it's like, um, I mean, I guess like, I guess it's not really like, it doesn't make sense as far as like it being like, sort of like a pinball table, but like, I don't know, the ghost hands and then like the Sinisty like teacup, that's kind of fun. I think, I think it's flavorful enough. I feel like it would make a little, uh, like it'd be a little less flavorful with the fighting gym, but... Uh, either way, it works, I guess. It works. Hey, very nice. I didn't have to. I didn't have to use the hands. Very cool. Oh, wait. I probably have to go the other way, huh? Okay. Hold up. Okay, I have to go up here. Then this one will push me up. Like, really far. And then we go all the way over here. That's the one. Ooh, there we go. Okay, cool. <laughs> Finish! Alright, looks like we got one last trainer before the gym later. Very nice. Gym Trainer Roy, what you got for us, bucko? Yeah, how's everybody doing today, uh, SPS, Staffer Kirby? How we, how we all how we all feeling? Hopefully, hopefully we're having a good day. I was having a good day until I lost that Corsola. I'm feeling really sad about the Corsola, <laughs> but that's okay. I'm gonna try not to dwell on it. I've been, I've been, I've been bitching about it since stream started. So no. SP <laughs> says, okay, just doing math. Ooh, math. I mean, I don't know how you feel about math, but I would not be a fan. <laughs> but I hope that the math is going well. Uh, drift blim. Okay, yeah, we stay in. That's fine. Although we we should probably switch out at some point here. I guess we are focusing pretty hard on Lay Midnight. 
it's just it's so nice. This night slash is just absolutely crushing everything. We do have to be careful though with uh, with Drift Bloom. It probably has aftermath, huh? And do I have any? I don't even think I have any special moves on Light Midnight, huh? Um, no, I don't. So let me switch. <laughs> let me switch to someone who can uh, deal some special damage. Uh, Johnny will work. Uh, Devil Kirby says, so apparently to get the Azure Flute in Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl, you need to not only have a save save for Legends Arceus, but also beat the game beat the game up to catching Arceus. So you need to get Arceus to get an Arceus. <laughs> yep, that is that is correct, Devil Kirby. Uh, it is very amusing. <laughs> you have to have beaten the main quest. Uh, the, the main quest of, uh, of Legends Arceus, which only officially ends after you catch Arceus. <laughs> yeah, pretty pretty amusing stuff. <laughs> I guess spoilers that you catch Arceus in Legends Arceus, but I mean, you know, that's <laughs> how it goes. SBS says that sounds dumb. <laughs> yeah, it is. It is a little bit. It is a little bit silly. It'll be even funnier once uh, once both games are added to Pokemon Home because it's just like cool um you know it, t it took me beating legends arceus to uh to and getting an arceus to get the arceus and bdsp and then and then after pokemon home comes out or, or gets uh, support for them rather um it'll just be like oh cool cool now i just have two arceuses that can go go to either one kind of funny uh do i want brave bird that does sound kind of funny i'll get rid of pluck why not Dapper Kirby says it is, SPS. Why lock a single five-minute event behind, like, 20 hours of gameplay content in another game? <laughs> I mean, it's true. It's true. It is pretty funny. I guess they wanted it to be flavorful, but that's the wrong kind of flavorful, frankly. I do understand the disdain, although I think it's quite funny, so I'm, I'm honestly fine with it. Especially since I have a beaten Legends Arceus safe play, or, uh, playthrough, so it's of no consequence to me. <laughs> Uh, all right, let's um, let's restore some health here. Of all the Pokemon on our team that are are, are behind, it's uh, Rillaboom of of, of, uh, of all of them. Oh god, I can't say words. Um, so let's let's lead with Drumroll for the for the gym challenge. It does have um, knockoff, I think. So that should actually be good, right? Has knockoff? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it does. Cool, cool, cool. Let's do it. Let's do it. Here we come, Alistair. Hope you're ready for us, little boy. Gym mission cleared. Very good. All right, on to the pitch we go. I love the purple stadium. It's really cute. <laughs> SBS says, speaking of, I just raised up a new Rillaboom. I called him Bana <laughs> Banana Slamma. I love that, SBS. That's very, that's very nice. That's very, very nice. Uh, this is this is my very first time using a Rillaboom, so this has been interesting. It seems okay. It seems okay. It's, it seems like it's a very good like physical, physical beatdown Pokemon. I I do appreciate it. All right, Alistair, let's go. Oh, he's so cute. Oh my god, I love him. <laughs> he's adorable. Okay, drum roll. Ooh, this will do well for us, actually. We can just hit it with a drum beating. We don't even gotta worry about the dark move. Ooh, <laughs> look at that! Oh, that's fun. That's fun. That's the first time I've actually uh, seen drum beating, so... Nice. Uh, Dapper Kirby says, I do think it's funny that only Lucas or Dawn and their look likes get to Arceus. Like, only that single bloodline and the pure... And, and those who are pure enough get to even meet God. <laughs> it's true. You have to be an anime protagonist to meet God. That's, that's what Pokemon has taught me. All right, Mimikyu. Ooh, Mimikyu actually kind of makes me nervous. Um, ooh, I could hit it with poison, actually. It's not a terrible idea, honestly. In addition to dropping the toxic down. What would it have? What would it have? Here, let me let me pull up. I guess I probably should have done this initially. Let me pull up Alistair's page real fast. Um, so I can see what he's got cooking. Um, let's see. Maybe Q has Baby Doll Eyes, Shadow Sneak, Hone Claws, and Slash. Uh, yeah, Johnny should be able to fight that, I think. Hit it with Neutral Acid, right? Because Ghost Resists, uh, fair, or, uh, yeah. Ghost Resists, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Break Disguise first. Yeah, I got it, I got it. 
Oh, so you just assume that I would go for Toxic turn one, Dapper Kirby? How dare you? How dare you? When have I ever shown that that's something I would do? <laughs> Take your Rocky Helmet damage. <laughs> Dapper Kirby says, I didn't assume, I just know. <laughs> okay, disguise is down. Alright, uh, maybe I'll just go for a Discharge, see how much that does. Yeah, take your Rocky Helmet damage. See if I care. Ooh, almost. Almost knock it out. We get the Paralysis, that's kind of nice. He might go for a Potion, though. Nope. Never mind. Never mind, he just goes down. Very nice. Mimikyu usually gives me some trouble, so that's, uh, that works out very well for us. Alright, we're hitting some 37s. Very nice. Alright, here comes Cursula. Um, let's see, who wants to fight Cursula? I think... I think we'll go drum roll again. We'll go for the knockoff. I wish I could have one of those. <laughs> I was so close. Uh, anyways. Knock off. Ooh, bonk. <laughs> That'll do it. Sorry, Charlie. <laughs> okay, last is that Gengar, and we've got we've got the thing for that. Uh, we go into Light Midnight. My very last Pokemon. How lonely, how frightening. Alright, Gengar. He's a, I think he immediately uh, Gigantamaxes it, so we are gonna do the same. Go for that Max Darkness by Midnight. Gengar, Gigantamax, swallow everything in darkness. Ooh, so spooky. Aw, he's so cute! Oh my god, I love you, Alistair. You're adorable. Alright, there it is. Man, <laughs> why do they keep doing weird things with the uh, Gengar forms? I do not care for this form at all. I like Mega Gengar well enough, but uh, can't, you can't improve on perfection, and regular Gengar is already like almost perfect, so. <laughs> Alright, we got the big Linoon. Max ooze. Fair enough. That stab is a little scary. Oh my god, that's so much damage. Oh, it's a crit. Oh, of course. Of course you get the freaking crit. Immediate crit. Please let Night Slash, like, or Max Darkness, rather. Please let that do an insane amount of damage. Oh no. <laughs> I'm not faster either. This freaking sucks. Oh man, this is this is actually really rough. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to like power through the um the what's it called? I'm gonna have to power through uh, the the Gigantamax turns. I I literally because of that crit, because of that initial crit, I have to like waste the rest of the turns. That's so lame. Oh god. Oh no, I actually. Oh yeah, the special attack is going up. That's a good point, Dapper Kirby. Oh man, uh, Lime Midnight actually can't live another hit. That's actually not good. <laughs> That's actually not good. I Maybe I need to go out to Johnny to resist the poison? But it's still gonna do a lot of damage. Oh no! <laughs> um, Cause yeah, it's, it'll, be at it'll be at plus two special attack. Ah, oh, that's not good. Um, Depper Kirby says I'd sack Tyler or Billy. I don't. Do you really think that? I know it has plus two and it's a it's a special attacker, but like, do you really think that a resisted 
resisted? I, I almost feel like it could. I almost feel like Johnny could take. Could well, no, it's Gigantamax. No, you're probably right. You're probably right. Oh man, that's really lame. If if I have to do that. Um. Yeah, you're yeah you're right, Daffy Kirby. You're right. Gigantamax, it'll it'll kill. It'll definitely kill. Even. E even even with the resistance. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Oh man, that's so lame. I wish I I wish I could buy hyper potions. I actually would have if I could. <laughs> but I couldn't. It didn't let me. Uh, I do not have access to them yet. Um Like the only way that I could live is if I got up to full and I can't even with the the highest restoring HP item that I have, I cannot get get up to full. So that's super lame. <laughs> That's super, super lame. Man. <laughs> if only I could just get lucky enough to freaking... Uh, no, I'm going to have to stack someone. That's so, That's so unfortunate. That's so, so unfortunate. I guess I'd rather stack Tyler if I was going to stack anyone. Uh, if, if we're only... Like, like I mean... I, I kind of just want to get Billy across the finish line if at all possible. I, obviously, I'd prefer to get everyone, but uh, of the pe of the Pokemon here to sacrifice, uh, Billy would be or Billy would not be the one because I just want to get the the little baby Rookie D across the finish line ASAP. Uh, Tyler, at least I, you can catch a Choodle relatively easily. I could probably get another one in the wild area, honestly. Um, so yeah, I guess you're the one, Tyler. I'm sorry. Still trying to figure out what the heck I'm gonna do afterwards, though. I guess, I guess from there going to Toxtricity. I'm sorry, Tyler. That sucks. That so sucks. <laughs> That's so lame. Uh, all right. Well, it happens. It happens. All right. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go out to Johnny. So that it has less options against me. And I'll heal here. He's out of Dynamax, so that's good. And I will Super Potion from here. Because I need to be at full. I need to see how much how much it'll actually do. Hex, okay. <gasps> Oh my god, that's what the Uh, what the heck? Oh no. Am I going to get swept? What do I do? What what what, what would you have done, Dapper Kirby? I'm confused. <laughs> what the heck do I do? I can't send out drum roll. He'll go for sludge bomb. And he's definitely faster. Oh my god, do I actually get swept by Alistair? Oh no. Um, this is bad. This is really, really bad. <laughs> I, I, I think he, I think plus three, plus three sludge bomb still kills like midnight, even if I get him up to up with he the health with uh, super potion. Unless Charizard can take a hit, I think we're screwed. <laughs> oh no, Alistair, why? <laughs> <laughs> oh, today is not today is not my day. Uh, yeah, I think I have to try and kill with the flamethrower. What? Uh, what's Gengar? Is Gengar a special def especially defensive, or is it physically defensive? Hold on, let me look. Oh, this is this is unfortunate. This is very unfortunate. Um, it looks like it is more specially defensive, but not by very much. Yeah, um, it probably doesn't matter because I have better special attacks, so. 
I'll just go for flamethrower, I guess, and hope for the best. I outspeed, that's good. Okay, he's dead. <laughs> that was so lame! I can't believe I lost Toxtricity too. That's so unfortunate. Ah, uh, lame. <laughs> That's so lame. All right, well, whatever. I, I don't know, I, I guess I thought that Toxtricity would outspeed for some reason, but I don't know why I would have thought that, so. That's so lame. That's so, so, so lame. Yeah, you, you can go ahead and do that, Tyler. You know what, I'll let it happen. Go ahead, Tyler. Go ahead. <laughs> you could go out with, with a blaze of glory, I suppose. No, oh, you don't get Rock Tomb, though. Don't get, don't, go, don't get too crazy here. Well, I'm glad we won, at least, but, like, dang it. <laughs> that Toxtricity felt especially bad. <laughs> my, my logic was just like, oh, yeah, it's... I can like make it so that it can't hit me with the super effective poison moves, but I forgot I forgot it was it was of course gonna have a strong ghost move, so you know. <laughs> Davra Kirby says doesn't need to learn rock tube, he's already in one, it's true. <laughs> uh very lame. Very, very lame. Well but again, we got the W, that's the important part, but dang it! Ah, oh, Toxtricity! I mean at least we get to use Toxtricity again in a future playthrough, but like dang it! <laughs> Dang it! I like Toxtricity. Um, all right. Well, what you gonna do? The Lark. Looks like my Yampa really likes you, huh? Anyway, we've run into we run into each other at a good time. You know the mural here in Stowe on site. It's said to tell the story of the hero of Galar as well. Though, though, what's there today is actually a replica of the ancient art that used to be here. You tend to have surprisingly sharp insight, so I was wondering if you might think when you see the ruins. Or what you might think. Kaboom! What in the world was that? Sounds like it came from the direction of the ruins, too. Let's have a look. Come along, Yamper. Alright, well, we'll go check that out in a second. Um, I guess I don't actually have to go to the Pokemon Center to do this, do I? Uh, that's so lame, though. Oh, I'm so sad about... I'm so sad about, um... About Johnny. This is very unfortunate. Take the lucky egg, too, of course. Uh, put my bag. Here we go. Alright, to the boxes. Very lame. Goodbye, Tyler. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Goodbye. And goodbye, Johnny. Hey there, Star Champ. You caught us at a bit of a sad moment. <laughs> welcome, welcome, though. Oh, and, uh, we did get the gym badge. I forgot to put that up on the layout, so let me do that. Bonk. There we go. Um, yeah, goodbye, Johnny. Alright, well, we gotta figure out what we're adding to the team here. <laughs> that was super lame. Um, let's see, let's see. Uh, we're good up to... What is what is the next gym leader? It's, um... Opal? I think? Uh, Opal gives us up to level 38, so there we go. Starter says, no, I come in to see this. I know, it's tragic. It's quite tragic. <laughs> to Upper Kirby says, lol, add the Gengar. No! <laughs> I mean, it actually wouldn't be a bad option. It is a really good Pokemon, of course, but that would be that would be a super tragic, uh, all things considered. Uh, ooh, RK9 would be kind of cool. We already have Fire-type, though. Um, we don't have a Water-type, though. Hmm, Crawdon is actually kind of a cool one. Although it would not be, it would not help us out particularly well against the um, the upcoming what's it called um, fairy gym. So maybe I should keep that in mind. Though, although hilariously enough, Gengar would help. Uh, it'd give us another poison type. Poison good. Poison very good. We could do. It uh, looks like this is our cap, our K9. As Sergeant says, dumb turtle face and Johnny dead. I know it's tragic. It's super super tragic. Um. Alolan Raichu would be kind of cool. Um, let's see, what what gyms do we have left? We have Fairy and... Uh, it'd be Ice in this, right? Yeah, uh, Fairy, Ice, and Dark. And Dragon. Uh, Dapper Kirby says Gengar can also learn uh, Thunderbolt. He's literally the Johnny... Has Johnny coverage. It's true. It's true. 
<laughs> as hilarious as it is, yeah, I think you might actually be right. I think that the Gengar might actually be the best thing to add to the team. It does feel very bad. It does feel very bad because we lost the Pokemon to a Gengar, but it's a different Gengar to be fair. Um... Um, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm tempted. I'm really, really dang tempted. Uh, yeah, all right. <laughs> you know what? Screw it. Horror show. Welcome to the, welcome to the fold. We are adding the Gengar. Also, this team is really, really busted. Uh, Rillaboom Charizard Gengar. That's absurd. That is absurd. That's far too much power. Um, yeah. Okay. F very cool. Very cool. Um, let's see. We have we we also had to add a, an evolution Pokemon. Again, we're still we're good up to level 37, um, but it looks like we don't really have a lot of a, a whole lot of options. Um, uh, Sartip says, uh, "Yeah, Gengar is good. Pretty wide move pool. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely." Um, I think this one is from like an Ultra Sun playthrough too. So what what do you what do you have? I'm, I am curious. Uh, Toxic, Confused Ray, Sucker Punch, and Venusaur. Not not bad, not bad. Um, would have loved Shadow Ball, but that's all right. Um, we need a Pokemon that's capable of evolving as well. Um, let's see, what did we lose? We lost a wa our Water type, yeah. Um, maybe a Water type then. Uh, actually, Toxic or not Toxic uh, Marini wouldn't be terrible. Marini would not be terrible, honestly. Um, which one is our Marini? Uh, it would be, yeah, it'd be this one, Marianne. Um, yeah, level, level 26. Uh, it would take a little bit of a grind. I think I actually have some leftover experience candies. Uh, Dapakur says you could teach it Hex in the meantime. That's true. That's true, Dapper Kirby. I can't do that. I can't do that. In fact, I could give it Willow. It, or, no, it has Toxic. I could do Toxic, in, toxic into Hex. That's actually kind of good. Uh, Voidexcar, uh, welcome Voidexcar, sorry, I didn't, I didn't greet you there. Uh, welcome, welcome. Uh, but honestly, it wouldn't really matter too much if Toxapex had no offense, because Toxapex is, it would be one of our unevolved Pokemon, so it would just kind of be chilling anyways. Um, like, we would only use it, like, on the very rare occasion. Um, we're definitely, like, far enough in the game now that we're not really going to be using the, uh, uh, unevolved Pokemon nearly as much. Um, yeah, I think, I honestly think, uh, Marianne will, will, would be a really good choice. So yeah, we'd have... Yeah, we'd have Lanoon, um, uh, not Toxpex, uh, Marini. Lanoon, Marini, and Rookie as our unevolves, and then Drumroll, uh, Cindy, and Horror Show for our fully evolves. That sounds good. Every Everything gets Protect, Star Champ. Uh, every Pokemon can learn Protect. Um, yeah, there we go. I think that's I think that's the one. I think that's the one. <laughs> Star Champ says, I feel so dirty asking that. <laughs> Are you are you saying that I should employ some sort of uh, degenerate strategy such as toxic and protect? I would never, I would never, I would never do that. And by that I mean I would always do that. Um, <laughs> anyways, uh, yeah, Maridi is adding is adding to the team as well. Uh, that'll go into slot four. Beautiful. Okay, cool. That sounds like a that sounds like a plan. Um, so let's uh let's carry on from here. <laughs> uh. Ooh, uh, uh Kirby says you can get Shadow Ball uh, on the route before Snow on side. Oh, cool! If I backtrack... Oh, neat. Where, though? Did I already pick that up? Yeah, let me look. Let me look. Maybe I already picked that up. I don't remember picking that up. I think I would have been excited about that. No, I didn't. I didn't. I mean, I have a bunch of, uh... I have a bunch of TRs that I got from Max Raid Dens. Anything useful? Eh, not really. Um, but yeah, uh, if it, if I can get Shadow Ball, where is it, uh, Dapper Kirby? On, is it Route 6? Down here? Yeah, let's, let's go grab that real fast before we, uh, before we progress too far. I would love to have Shadow Ball. <laughs> no, I'm not saying anything of the sort, says Star Champ, followed by a, by a, uh, secretive wink. <laughs> very nice, very nice. Um... Oh, uh, did we, did we, did we, did we get a mix-up, Dapper Kirby? <laughs> yeah, let's just go to the little, little plot device here real, real fast. We gotta do that anyways. Oh, so Shadow Ball isn't TM30 in this one? Got it. 
Got it. Got it. Yeah, we did pick up Steel Wing. I do remember that. What's going on up there? I don't know. Let's go find out. Uh, is there a bait fight? I don't remember. There might be. Oh, oh, real quick, while I'm thinking about it, I, I should have some candies. I think. I, I, I used some of them, but I might have some... I should have some leftovers. So let me see if I can... If I can... Yeah, oh yeah, we got plenty. We got plenty. That's good. Okay, do we have the small ones? Yeah, we got the small ones as well. Um... Okay, yeah, let's uh, let's try and get these guys boosted up real fast. How how close to like on par can I get these guys like before we even start here? Ooh, twenty nine. Ooh, yeah, I think we could actually get them fully caught up without even having to grind. That's very nice. Toxic spikes. Ah, uh, uh, Vortex Car says uh, Shadow Ball is TR thirty three. Ooh, cool. It's it's a viable TR in the wild area in Sword and Shield for three thousand watts. Says Dapper Kirby. Ooh, cool. Awesome. Um, yeah, I'll have to. I'll have to. I'll, I'll maybe I'll do some like watt grinding or something uh, between streams, and we can. Uh, I'll I'll try and pick up some good good TRs that way if I can. That sounds like a good plan. Uh, okay, so toxic spikes. Um. Get poison sting. <laughs> Startip says, uh, go grind. I mean, I don't need to grind. <laughs> I have the candies. But all right, fine. I'll grind up, I'll grind up a level. You, you've you redeemed it, so I got to do it. Uh, I'm going to get everyone up to up on par level-wise real fast, and then I'll grind one of our one of our actual, like, fully leveled Pokemon up a level. <laughs> uh, whoop. No, no, no. Uh, yeah, okay. So keep going. <laughs> Vortex Curse also redeemed Go Grind Lids. <laughs> very nice, very nice. I'll do it, I'll do it. Just give me a dang second. <laughs> Two levels. Okay, sounds good. <laughs> you guys are stilly. Ooh, Liquidation? That's kind of good, though. Uh, I'll take that. I will take that. Um. Yes. Yeah, get rid of Peck. We don't need Peck. Okay, um, let's use the last three on you. Very good, get up to 34. I don't think, I might not quite be able to get them up, like, to exactly 36, but it'll be damn close. Okay, 35. We're both at 35. Okay, you know what, how about this? I'll get, I'll get Gengar, since, since we got two, uh, two that I need to redeem anyways, how about I just get Gengar and Marini up to, um, up, up to the next level each. That sounds good. That sounds good and reasonable. Alright, let's go, let's go do a pinch of grinding. Uh, let's go do a pinch of grinding. You guys redeemed it, so I gotta go do it. That is fair. Let me throw on my little grinding banner. Uh, d -d -d -d, where the frick is it? I always lose it. Oh, but like, actually, where is it, though? The heck? There it is. Okay, cool. <laughs> Dapper Kirby says, uh, hey, you can grind watts and levels at the same time. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I could I could pick up some, yeah, I guess. <laughs> but I don't, I don't really feel like going to the wild area, though. <laughs> I'm probably just gonna go to this little area down here. Yeah, no, I'll, I'll pick up I'll pick up a bunch of watts between between streams. No worries. I don't need Shadow Ball like right away or anything. It's not like it's gonna help me against the next gym. Yeah, let me just I just want to head down to this little route down here and we'll we'll take care of it there. Um, so I will teach Gengar Hex for now at least. Yeah, yeah, I got you. I got you, Dapper Kirby. No worries. Uh, yeah, we'll get rid of... I don't really need Confuse Ray. It's a fun idea, but... Uh, Hex will be better for us. Oh, let's, uh, let's throw the Lucky Egg on him, too. That'll be good. Uh, ba -ba -doo -ba -doo. Where is it? There we go. Beautiful. All right, Horror Show, let's go. Oof. 
God, the movement is so stiff in this game compared to Legends Arceus. It always throws me off a little bit. All right. Yeah, unfortunately, no speed up, and because I'm actually playing on a, I'm playing on a legitimate Switch, so no speed up for this. So I just kind of have to do it the old-fashioned way. <laughs> but that is okay. That is okay. Uh, Voidex Curse says, do you think Sprigatito will become bipedal? Uh, that is the, the, the golden question, Voidex Curse. It's hard to say. Um, I, I think that based on the track record, there's a good, there's a good chance. <laughs> um, I hope it doesn't, though. I would love to see, um, I would, I would love to see a, a, uh, ooh, that's not good for Gengar. We want to run, away. well, we might not be able to run away from that, actually. It might have Arena Trap. Okay, no, it doesn't. Good. Um... But yeah, no, I, I, the track record suggests that it probably will be bipedal, but I would love to see it uh, be a quadruped instead. That'd be really awesome. Sergeant says, so, uh, dang, so many good question of the day choices. Ooh, yeah, I'll, I'll be curious to see what you come up with, though. <laughs> Ooh, I can't hit you with, you're, aren't you a normal type? I think you are. I guess I'll just go for a Venus Shock here. That'll do. Hey there, SBS. Uh, what happened? Uh, uh, I'm not sure what you mean. <laughs> um, I don't know. What? 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 Uh, what, what did you? What, what? What did you? When did you leave? Did you steal? It? Oh, with uh, with uh, Alistair, you mean? Yeah. Um, no, we uh, we lost we lost two Pokemon to the Gengar, unfortunately. Um, so we uh, we added a, we added a Gengar that we had of our own, and then also the the Marini. <laughs> so yeah, it happens. <laughs> Which which ones? Uh, whichever ones we don't have anymore. <laughs> no, uh, Toxtricity and um, uh, Choodle. <laughs> exactly, Star Champ. Yeah, there's no evidence to confirm or deny anyone being put into a locker. Cannot prove it. It wasn't me. I definitely didn't shove Alistair in a locker. <laughs> and then take his Gengar. <laughs> Dr. Kirby says, Litz bullied Alistair, shoved him into a locker, and took his Pokemon. No, I would never do that to Alistair. He's too cute. He's too cute for that. I'll shove you in a locker, Dr. Kirby. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Nah, uh, Ash I would shove in a locker. Um, I would totally do that to Ash, but no. Um, Alistair's, Alistair's adorable. Ash is, Ash is just a dork. I don't care about Ash at all. Not from Pokemon, to be clear. They're from Fire Emblem Three Houses. <laughs> okay, Trap Inch goes right down, no problem. All right, and there's Horror Show at level 36. Very good. Let's uh, let's let's do the other one now. Let's see if we can get Marini up. How close is it after after the experience share there? Uh, oh, really, really dang close. So yeah, let's get Marini up that one level for the redemption, and then we can uh, move right along. Horror Show, yeah, that's our Gengar SBS. <laughs> I, uh, it's a nicknaming theme I've had for my uh, for my Gengars for a long time. Uh, creep show, spook show, freak show, um, scare show, that that sort of thing. <laughs> it's just what I've called my my Gengar. I, norm normally, freak show is what I like to call my Gengars, but um, I did not have uh, I did not have access to that name anymore because we lost my original freak show. So um, horror show is this one. Just go away, Helioptile! I really don't want to fight you. There we go. Fight the EMS. That'll uh, that'll be good. Devakarri says it's worth noting that Gengar does learn Shadow Ball at level 48. If you don't want to waste the TR, ooh, good good to note. Good to note.
took that relatively well. Yeah, I guess we're not very uh, not very physically uh, offensive, which is fair. SBS says I, I, uh, they should raise a Marini. Yeah, heck yeah, Marini's cool. I've never used one, actually. This is actually my first time using one, but uh, I hear they're good. I hear they're actually kind of decent. Uh, at least, like, tox effective, I mean. This is just a uh, Marini, unfortunately, so <laughs> I won't be able to judge it fully, but... All right, finish up the Omas. Will this be enough to get Marini uh, over the hurdle? Nope, not quite. He'll take at least one more. Possibly more. All right, get mass. Uh, what excurs says Tox Effects is a creation of Satan himself. Is it just because it's like really like defensively good or whatever? I've heard it's like a really really good wall setup Pokemon. Um, not that I'm like very competitively inclined, but I, that's just what I've heard that it's like actually kind of decent, like in competitive. So that's kind of kind of neat in its own in its own right. <laughs> All right, one more. We'll take out the mask, and I'm hoping that it's just the one more that is all we need to get uh, to get this level up. <laughs> what Xcar says, I despise it. Ooh, so so what you're saying is it is good, and that's why you despise it. I see, I see. <laughs> Ooh, not quite. Yeah, not not quite. One more, one more battle. Let me let me quickly drop a uh, super potion. Ooh, speaking of potions, though, I should go see if I can get um, what's it called, uh, hyper potions, because uh, <laughs> I'm so sick of super potions. They just don't cut it. They just do not cut it at this point in the game. Okay, Doug Trio. That's a little bit scary, honestly. Maybe I should run away. Oh, I just realized the sunlight is harsh. Okay, Arena Trap. That's why that's why Liquidation is not doing very much. I don't have a choice but to stay in, and I can't run away, so... I was wondering why the Liquidation was doing so little. I was like, I know it's not a... I'm not necessarily an attacker, but, like, come on. <laughs> like, why is it doing so little? It's because the sun's out. Duh. Okay, good. It didn't go for a ground move. That's, that's good. That's all I can ask for. Alright, thanks for the XP, Doug Trio. I appreciate you. Okay, so there we go. The two level ups. One for one for each of those who redeemed the Go Grind Lids uh, redemption. Thank you for your redemptions, you guys. Our Pokemon are a little bit stronger. Uh, so yeah, now let's fly back over to Stoan's side. Uh, really quickly, before we jump back into like the plot, uh, I do want to go get a quick refill on coffee, and I also have to run to the restroom. So um, I'm going to... Oop, that's not where I wanted to fly. Hold on. Wait, god, god dang it, I get, I get so mixed up in menus. Uh, okay. So on side. Fly. Okay, there we go. <laughs> there we go. So yeah, I'm going to quickly heal, uh, and then I'm going to go and <laughs> run to the restroom really fast. Um, I will I will read chat when I get back as well. Um, so yeah, I, I shall be back in just a hot second here, you guys.
Okay, thank you all for waiting. I have returned. Uh, thank you for your patience. I do appreciate it. Ooh, I can turn the grinding banner off now, but boom, there we go. Uh, let's see, let me catch up on chat here a little bit. Um, Star oh, Starchamp has answered uh, for the question of the day. Um, so today's today's question of the day is... Uh, if, if you were in a 2v2 double battle, who would be your partner and who would be your opponents? Um, so that, that was a, that was a fun little question suggested by our good friend Secret Boss Sauce. Um, so, uh, Starchamp has answered, my partner would be Wally and will battle against, uh, Marnie and Volkner. Ooh, interesting combo, Starchamp, I like it. Um, Dapper Kirby says, Evia Light Marini might actually be kind of nice for heal stalling. That's true, Dapper Kirby, yeah, with how defensive it is, plus the Evia Light, absolutely, absolutely. Oh, hey there, Bulbasaur, welcome, welcome. Lovely, lovely to see you, glad you're feeling good. Uh, very, very nice. Uh, welcome. Uh, sorry for, uh, sorry for disappearing on you, like, just as you showed up. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so cool, very cool. Let's uh, let's carry on then, shall we? Uh, head on over and check out this uh, mural over over yonder. I, I do I do love the vibes of this of this little town though, Snow on Side. I also love that it's called Snow on Side. It sounds very it sounds very um. I don't know, like, I don't, I don't know what, I don't know how to phrase it. <laughs> I don't know how to phrase it, but you guys know what I mean. It's, it just sounds, it sounds like a cool name for a town. Destroy it, destroy it all. We're going to find those wishing stars. We've got to bring, we, uh, we've got to bring the chairman more wishing stars if we want to please him. Kaparaja, if you're truly the chairman's Pokemon, then you should feel grateful for his ch this chance to help him find wishing stars. Oh my, you again. So you think you can start collecting wishing stars now and get into the chairman's favor? That's the way of it, is it? I see, so you do have some cunning in you, but I won't have it. I won't allow anyone to stand in my way. All right, let's go, Bade. Uh, oh, SBS has answered question of the day as well. Um, qu uh, answers, uh, the partner would be Guzma and the opponents are Clara and Getsis. Ooh, interesting. Interesting choices, SBS, I love it. That's a I love seeing like the very unusual combinations of uh, of characters. That's super super cool. Um, I have oh I forgot to switch back to someone who can actually fight. Um, let's see. How about we go out to horror? Honestly, let's go to horror show. <laughs> um, I don't know who I'd pick. It's a it's a really it's such a broad question. Um, I guess I'd have to think about it a little bit. <gasps> Oh. Oh, right. Poison. Weak to psychic. That'll do it. What am I thinking? <laughs> yeah, well. Um yeah, that was rough. Okay. Well, so much for the Gengar hype. <laughs> wow. That's um that's super lame. What is with me today? I am clearly not all the way here. Uh, my word. <laughs> um, okay then. How about Lime Midnight instead? Someone who is immune to Psychic. <laughs> cool. <laughs> wow, wow, okay. I'm a little bit embarrassed, I gotta say. I'm sorry, I gotta, ch uh, let me catch up on chat here real fast. <laughs> <laughs> had to kind of absorb that for a second. Um, wow. Uh, okay, so boop a doop a doo. The star chance says I'm still torn. Battling Watson would be more thematic for me, but Volker is supposedly stronger, and Steven as a part as a partner makes sense. And there's no Gen 5 route. Oh, so many, so many options, so many options. Uh, Bulbasaur says for question today, my partner would be hmm, maybe either Hal or Hop, and we take on uh, Kukui and Leon or Hala and Marty, depending on the partner. Uh, very cool, Bulbasaur. I love it. Um, FBS says they have something in common. They're bo uh, they're both two faced. Ooh, <laughs> true, very true. Uh, okay, wait, why wait? Why not send out Linoon? Linoon's good. Linoon's good against Duosion. Oh, that, it has it has a uh, dazzling gleam. Eh, it's not. It's it no, ain't no big deal. Ain't no big deal. It's it's not stab. I'm not worried about it.
Hatch Ram. Okay, I will switch for that. Uh, let's go to... I think it's just Psychic, right? It's just Psychic still? I'll go ahead and drum roll. No, it's just it's just Hatch Ram for now, so it's just Psychic. Alright. Ooh, not quite enough to kill. He's super potion, yeah, alright. I don't know I don't know what I was thinking. I'm so embarrassed with the Gengar. Oh well. It happens. At least I can use Gengar in an earlier gen now. <laughs> I kind of wasn't a huge fan of it being in such a high generation anyways, but uh, that's not that's not to say I was intentionally trying to get it killed. <laughs> uh, Gotharita. Alright, let's see. Uh, yeah, that's another job for Light Midnight. Yeah, I will have to replace the Gengar. Bulbasaur, I haven't had a chance yet. <laughs> I'm still in the same battle. SBS says, did Lydia secretly plot to kill Gengar? Click here to find out. <laughs> uh, Demacruz says, by the way, what's the story behind the Line Noon's nickname? Oh, <laughs> it, it's, it's, so is there's Line Noon and there's Line, Mi Line Midnight. Line Noon as in 12, 12, uh, 12 p.m. and Line Midnight as in 12 a.m. <laughs> it's, it's perfect. It makes perfect sense. <laughs> Espius says, boo. <laughs> I think it was actually Yumi who came up with that name, so if you're going to boo anyone, don't boo me. <laughs> See, that's that's the kind of respect that I think it deserves, Dapper Kirby. It is a great pun. I thought it was nice. <laughs> Dapper Kirby says, now he's mourning the, 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 mourning the Gengar's death. I know. Very, clap, clap. Very, very, very good. Thank you, Dapper Kirby. <laughs> oh, I just spilled my coffee everywhere. Things are going so well today. <laughs> Things are going so well today. It's not that bad, but I did spill it. I didn't mean to. Ah, no! Uh, give me just a sec here, you guys. <laughs> no, it's all over my mouse. No! <laughs> okay, hold on. Alright, we're good. We're good. It's not that bad. <laughs> it's not that bad. Okay, there we go. Uh, Bulbasaur says, are, are you excited to get Darkrai and Arceus in BDSP? We were actually talking about uh, the Arceus thing a little bit earlier in chat. Uh, I think it's cool that they're available. I think it's cool. I mean, I already, I caught the ones in um, Legends Arceus, so I'm not, like, like jumping out of my skin for them or anything, but it's cool that they're finally available. Uh, Sergeant says, the best part is how you talked about Gengar being, po I know, right? <laughs> it is, it is a little embarrassing, I will say. But, uh, I don't know, I just, I wasn't thinking about it. I wasn't thinking about it. Uh, SP says, uh, says, I misheard you and thought you said that it was uh, all over your mouth and wondered what, what when this tree went rated R. <laughs> no, not, not quite. Just it was just more so I just spilled it all, all over all, all over. Uh, yeah, no, I f spilled it all over my mouse, my computer mouse. Uh, I mean, <laughs> young bead. It pains me to have to say this, but I am truly disappointed. It's true that I am the one who found you back when you were all alone. I saw talent in you. You reminded me a little bit of myself back when I was young. That's why I sent you to a trainer school to give you a chance at success. But trying to destroy the mural, part of Galler's history, you show no love towards Galler. You are clearly not worthy challenger for the gym challenge. We will decide what to do with you later. For now, you will return to Hammerlock. And yeah, just like that, Bade's got Bade gets ripped out of the plot of this entire game. <laughs> Feels bad. 
Dev Kirby says things get boiling hot with this streamer. Make sure to tune in. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> you guys are absurd. Ah, Sonia and Lids too. Terrible shame on this, an absolute disaster. I never wish to see us lose challengers for this sort of reason. Yet we must do what we must to keep things fair and sportsmanlike. You know, during one of Bade's matches, I heard the announcer say that Bade has no family. Apparently it was Rose who took Bade under his wing, and so Bade was battling for the chairman's sake. What an awful turn of events. I hope the mural survived all that. It didn't. <laughs> He's gonna fall down. Bulbasaur says I'm with everyone when I say that Sword and Shield's story sucks. Yeah, it's not great. It's not great. It has potential in certain places and like certain aspects, but like it really does drop the ball in every like important way. This is about as close as we get to any proper story as this cutscene here, and even that's pretty lackluster, I will say. <laughs> so take it for what you will. Oh god, now I got coffee on my glasses. Ah, oh, everything is falling apart for me today, you guys. <laughs> okay, there we go. We're all cleaned up now. Not a brilliant turn of events, but the ruins were brought into the light for us to see. What does this tell us about Gather's legends? A sword and shield. Right, more than any hero, those things put the those things that appear to be Pokemon that stand. Ugh, I can't read. And not just that, but those Pokemon appear to be holding a sword and shield as if they were using them. Uh, anything else look interesting to you? Uh, the same as the tapestry. Uh, Voidix Curse says, uh, but hop development is kind of nice. I mean, yeah, that, it's nice, but it's like, it's, it's like, like equal to or, you know, maybe even less than like some other characters developments in other games. And those games just have better stories in general. So it's, it's nice, but it's, it only gets you so far. SBS says knowing you, we should team up with Giovanni and go against Koga and Aaron. Uh, I don't know, but I don't know. I, I would, I'd be, I would be curious as to what her answer to the question of the day would be uh, for today. But I guess we'll see if she, if she uh, pops in at any point. She might be sleeping though. Uh, Bubble Star says, "Oh, he's an orphan. Let's announce it to everyone." The announcer was last time seeing him until the post game. <laughs> I know, yeah, feels, feels kind of bad. Dapper says, yeah, easily the worst in the mainline Pokemon games, even if there are some bright spots like Leon's character in Hop's arc. Yeah, totally, totally. <laughs> uh, Dapper says, honestly, even Lids' Bane, Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon has a better story. That That is sadly true, even though I hate Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon and everything it stands for. Um, I mean, I don't, hate, I don't hate it that badly, but like, <laughs> I don't like the story in that game. It's at least better than, uh, than, than Sword and Shields. I could give it that. All right. Sergeant says, if she doesn't, I do want to ask her, okay, if I steal the question for the stream? Yeah, go for it. Go for it as far as I'm concerned, Star Champ. Okay, well, that's taken care of. Oh, you can't wait to catch more Pokemon. Oh, no, I have coffee on my controller, too. Okay, no, we're fine. <laughs> I wiped it off. We're all good. Uh, oh, yeah, I gotta... Oh, man, this sucks. <laughs> I hate I'm gonna do this so, so soon. Uh, all right, to the boxes we go. Let's uh, say goodbye to the to the Gengar. It was a fun it was a fun ride. <laughs> See you later, Gengar. I'm sorry. <sighs> All right, let's figure out what we're adding to the squad to replace Gengar. <laughs> uh, let's see. Search says on lighter news. Guess who just needs a, a floor and one admittedly large piece of decoration for their for their uh, Minecraft apiary? A hey, very nice star champ. I uh, look forward to seeing it when it's done. Um, Bulbasaur well, says uh, Ultra Sun Ultraman has a good story. I'm sorry. Uh, I mean, you're welcome. To, you're welcome to have that opinion, Bulbasaur. <laughs> I will disagree with you, but you're welcome to your own opinion. I will not fault you for that. Um, God, what do we want to add here? What do we want to add here? Um. Hmm. Uh, yeah, yeah, our Gengar died. I, uh, I foolishly sent it out into a psychic attack. I don't know what I was thinking. Uh, no. Uh, some people play play um. 
some people play Nuzlocks where you where you put them in a dead box. I do not. Um, I think that that is I think that is the coward's Nuzlocke. I mean, not that harsh or anything like that, but like I I, I play release. I play release. I always have. Uh, I think that putting them in the box for later doesn't really do anything for you, uh, in my opinion. It's not like I'm going to use them afterwards. So, um, yeah, no, I, I I play on release. Um, so yeah, no Gengar. Uh, let's see, what are we adding here? Um, I mean, <laughs> the thing is, like, we kind of we kind of eliminated our best option there for like something that would be decent to use against um, Opal. Um, Kaparaja. Uh, Devacruz says, uh, though, to be frank, I think some people keep, uh, keep the box as a catalog of the desk, like a visual graveyard. I suppose that's true. Uh, I feel, I, I guess it's kind of just a, a, a redundant in my case, though, because I have the obituary in the Discord, so, um, it's not really something I need to do. So, I, I guess I can, I, that, that, that does make sense, though, Dapper Kirby, that, like, people would do it that way. Um... What is Magnolia? Is Magnolia a Copper Raja? Magnolia. It is. It is. Okay. Um, that's not a terrible option. Um, we could, we could theoretically do the Copper Raja. I've never used one before. I don't know how good it is, but it wouldn't be, it wouldn't be awful. What level does, what level does, um, uh, what the frick is this Pokemon called? I can't remember what it's called. Q font, that's the one. Uh, what level does Q font evolve? I wonder. Q font. Um, let's see here. Thirty-four. So yeah, by the time it got caught up with the rest of the team, it would it would evolve as well. So that is notable. Um. I mean, yeah, Lola Raichu wouldn't be bad either. Uh, Bulbasaur says, I thought you did bec because you take all these Pokemon and use them in different games. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, uh, I, ca I, ca I mean, I can only use the ones that are alive, Bulbasaur, so, yeah, no, it's, um, yeah, cannot, cannot use any of my dead Pokemon. All the Pokemon that are in the, in my box are ones that have not died. Um, so, yeah. Um... Uh, Sergeant says, I get it. You have an obituary, uh, and stream, and, and stream, so it makes sense. I take a snapshot after it, it after it's over to show my deaths. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. <laughs> yeah, no, it's it's valid. It's valid. I didn't think about it from that angle. So yeah, it it, it checks out. Um. Mm. Dave Kirby says you don't necessarily need a poison or steel uh, steel type for Opal. Charizard does resist fairy. That's a good point. That's a good point. Um. Hmm. I guess I could put it up to a vote. Uh. I I guess there our best options would be um. Crawdont, Raichu, maybe Runarigus. We do have Glifford. <laughs> I'd have to go do the stupid, the stupid Runarigus evolution method, but <laughs> I mean, I could go do that. Um, yeah, I'll leave. I'll leave it between between um, between those four. Let's um, let's do let's do uh, Kaparaja, Runarigus, Raichu, or Crawdont. I'll I'll let you guys pick. It uh, looks like I have one. I have one vote for for Raichu. For uh, for Alolan Raichu. Uh, Bulbasaur says, uh, "Oh, Bulbasaur is asking a question. What do you do? What do you do in other gens if you don't use your dead mons?" Oh, I have I have a I have a separate storage bank for each generation Bulbasaur. So I have one for Gen one, two, three, four, etc. And every every one of those banks has Pokemon that we've caught in playthroughs of that respective generation. We've played through Gen One like four times, so and actually we played through every generation now four times each. So uh, yeah, every time we've caught Pokemon in each generation, like when we played Yellow for the first time, um, you know all the Pokemon we didn't use in Yellow, uh, like that that you know that we caught but didn't get to add to our team, they just stay in that bank. Um, in the Gen 1 bank. And then when we played Blue next, um, those Pokemon all get transferred in to the, into the Blue playthrough, and then, you know, we add to the team from there. That's how it works. Uh, I highly recommend, if you haven't already looked at it, check out the uh, explanation video. You can use the uh, command exclamation explain, and then I'll link you to a video I made that explains uh, all, the, all the specific details. 
uh, of, of how the challenge works. So highly recommended if you're confused on something. Um, let's see. Ooh, Starchant, Starchant wants, wants Glifford. So I have I have a vote for Raichu and a vote for um, Runariga so far. SBS is Raichu because we don't have a good answer for flying. That's true. That's true. That's a good point. Boydix Car says uh, Crawdont. Um, okay, so it uh, looks like I have two votes for... Ooh, uh, Awesome Paul uh, Awesome Paul 3131 is now following. Thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it. Um, yeah, I have I have two votes for Raichu, so it looks like we're going Raichu. I will add uh, Alolan Raichu to the to the team. That will be our new team member. <laughs> Bulbasaur says, please, please play Let's Go. I don't really have a whole lot of reason to, to, to play Let's Go, Bulbasaur. It's, I have five... Yeah, five ways to play through Kanto. <laughs> I really don't need another two. Um, but if there were ever like huge demand for a Let's Go playthrough, I would try and pull it off somehow. Um, but at, at the moment, it's not a part of the challenge. Uh, awesome Paul says, what about an ice type on your team? Um, an ice type would be cool. I don't know how many options we have for ice. Um, we can only add up until level 30. What did I say? 38? Uh, what was it? Op what, uh, what is Opal's ace? Uh, yeah, level 38. Um, let's see. Um, among ice types, we do have some options. Uh, but for fully evolved, let's see, this blueberry is a sand shrew only. Yukina is a Vulpix only. Uh, those are the only ice types I have, unfortunately. Uh, so yeah, that, probably not the most ideal situation for us. Um, but, uh, yeah, so... Uh, we, to be clear, we can, we uh, three out of our six uh, po Pokemon team here has to be uh, unev has to be unevolved. The other three have to be fully evolved, and we declare what Pokemon is what when we catch it. So, uh, yeah, that is that is why this is a Sand True and this is a Volpix and not their evolved forms. Just so we're clear, uh, there, uh, uh, Paul. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, Dapper Kirby says, uh, "Lids, uh, lids, be like, I won't play. Let's go. It it, it adds nothing new while still adding BDSP." <laughs> I mean, you got me there, but to be fair, to be fair, um, it, it's this. It, there is now the same amount of ways to play through Sinnoh as there as there was already Kanto, not counting Let's Go. So I'm in the clear, Dapper Kirby. <laughs> uh, SBS has a highlighted message. Uh, so I had a fun idea for the whole Pokemon battle against the Mavericks. Uh, what uh, what we got together? What if we got together and picked two songs for ourselves from the other games? One one for the participants' encounter and one for their specific battle theme. We could make we could make uh. We could make out of it. Oh, that'd be really cool, SBS. I do like it. I do like it. Very, very nice. Um, there's ideas to be had for certain. Uh, there's. I think there still needs to be some discussion had with the Pixel Mavericks themselves. But once we once we get to there, we can talk to talk to the girls and see how see how things go. Um, not. I'm not sure of all the details yet, though. It's gonna be a little while. <laughs> um, but yeah. Okay. So I think Raichu is the winner here, though. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and add the Alolan Raichu to the squad. Alolan Raichu to the squad in slot three. There we go. Beautiful. Uh, and yeah, we'll we'll try and get it caught up, and hopefully it won't die. <laughs> uh, uh, Bulbasaur says, I have an idea for a BDSP mod. New songs for contests. Oh, that would be cool. That would be very cool, Bulbasaur. <laughs> uh, Vortex Cars has redeemed uh, Lid's Pokemon opinion. Wants to know my opinion on Rayquaza and its Mega Evolution. Uh, Rayquaza is one of the best legendary Pokemon. It's not my absolute favorite, but it is absolutely up there, Void X cards. Rayquaza is a fantastic book one. Mega Rayquaza is just absurd. <laughs> I adore, uh, I adore the Delta episode. I just for how absolutely bonkers, crazy the the concept of flying a Rayquaza into space to fight aliens is. That's a thing that happens in a real Pokemon game, and I love that so much. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyways, uh, let's uh, let's get caught up here. Uh, do I have enough candy to maybe get How caught up? I'm just gonna blow the rest of my candy on How, I think. Also, did you guys- I hope you guys appreciate that I didn't name my Alolan Raichu How. I think that's kind of funny. Uh, ooh, we do have some actual rare candies, too. I, I might as well use those. There you go, How, level 34. Let's see if- I think we might have enough to just get- get him caught up right away. Okay, level 35. Yep, I certainly do. There we go. He is he is at least caught up with Marianne. I can get him up one more though. Probably. B between those and the small the extra smalls. 
There we go. Beautiful. All caught up. I'll probably do some more max raids between between uh, this stream and the next one too, just so I can get more candies in case something else happens. <laughs> uh, but yeah, there we go. Beautiful. Uh, let's try and use Hal. What do you have, Hal? I am curious. Uh, Thundershock, Tail Whip, Growl, and Quick Attack. That is not fantastic. <laughs> um, let's see. Do we have any moves that we can give you, Raichu? Um, let's see. boop a doo Psy Shock? I could probably do Psy Shock. That'll, that'll be good. That'll be some stab. I'll, I'll definitely, like, go get, like, the good TRs as well, uh, with some Watts. Uh, that, I'll do that between streams, though, just because I don't want to, I don't want to sit here and run from, from, uh, uh, freaking den to den just trying to get Watts. That sounds boring, so. No worries, SPS. I got, I got the vibe of what you're trying to say, even if I, uh, even if it took me, it took me a couple tries to figure out what, uh, specifically what you were trying to say, but it's all good. It's all good. We, we, we got you. Uh, okay, cool. Um, yeah, that'll, that'll have to do for now. Um, in the meantime, let's go hit the Pokemon Center, heal up. Uh, I do, I do want to grab those Hyper Potions, and I think we're good to go to Belonli now. I think. Or ba Balanlea. Uh, however you pronounce that town's name. <laughs> it's a little tricky. Uh, Starchamp says, I think I asked this, but... Ooh, the suspense is killing me, Starchamp. Um, Woodxgar says, uh, same with Scizor to, to Skizor. <laughs> oh, Skizor. It, I, I've always said Scizor. <laughs> uh, uh, Starchamp says, a redeemed question of the day suggestion. What would you want your role, uh, what would you want your role to be if you were represented in a Pokemon game? Uh, I think you have asked that before, but hey, nothing wrong with a, with a little repeat. Uh, I'll use that as a future question of the day, Starchamp. Thanks for the suggestion. Get that uh, written down real fast so I can update uh, update later. <laughs> That'll be good. Okay, there we go. All written down. Get my modules back up real fast. There we go. Uh, okay, let's, uh, let's go. Uh, oh, wait, real quick. Hyper Potion. Surely it gives me Hyper Potions now. Very good. Very good. That's weird that it makes you wait until Gym 4 to get those, considering how little potions actually restore your health um, by the time you get to him. Kind of absurd. Devil Kirby says, Oh, Raichu sits on his tail while he looks at the PC. Wait, really? I wasn't paying attention. I want to see. Aw, that is cute. <laughs> Look at him. Oh, that's adorable. I never noticed that before. Yeah, he's just chilling on his tail. That's super cute. What the heck? <laughs> I love it. All right. All right, let's see if it'll let us go into the woods now. Uh, we do have uh, an encounter to possibly get in here, and I really do want to get it. Uh, let's see, I, I actually did manage to do my encounter tracker this time, <laughs> so that's good. Um, let's see, what, what do we have? What are our options? So if we, if we were to, uh, encounter something randomly in the grass, we could get Galarian Ponyta. There's, is Spritzy and Oranguru as possibilities? Those would be less optimal, but there's also Hatrum, Morgrum, and Sinistee, and Indeedee as, as, um, Pokemon that we, that are from Galar that would, that I would love to get. So I think I will try and go for the random encounter, uh, if at all possible. And see what we get. We that's the one thing that I knew <laughs> knew would show that could show up that I actually don't need. We have we have uh, both evolutionary stages for this Pokemon, so we do not need we do not need a Phantom at all. <laughs> uh, Wedex says, "Bro, I'm waiting for this UU tier game for like 20 minutes. Oof, rough. That's real rough, uh, Wedex cars." <laughs> Uh, Sergio says, I'm just picturing a Lolan Raichu sitting that uh, sitting like that and reading a book. <laughs> Very nice. Very nice. We have Shinotic as well. We're running into literally only the things that I have already. <laughs> That's funny. There was only a couple of things I didn't I that uh, I didn't have or that I did have, so it's kinda of funny that we ran into both of them. I think those are two I think those are the only two, so. 
Come on, give, show me the Ponyta, show me the Morgrum. Okay, show me another Phantom, fine. Tapper Kirby says this is easily the best looking part of Sword and Shield. Uh, big agree, absolutely beautiful forest. They did a good job like on the visuals for this place. <laughs> probably, probably put a lot more effort into this place than most of the other places in the game. <laughs> Ooh, it's Audino-esque. It's Audino light. <laughs> Uh, I like it well enough. I, did, I am glad that we got the female one. The female one is better. It's not. It's no Audi, no, but I'll take it. Uh, how about we go for a thunder shot? Yeah, NDD, NDD. Definitely don't have one of those. SPS says I never raised Galarian Rapidash. Is it any good? I've never used one. Uh, I was hoping to grab one here, but uh, we're getting the NDD instead. So I'm not sure, SPS. But the typing seems really good. Uh, Sarge says, uh, Dr. Kirby, I think, uh, I think mine, uh, mine looks better, but, uh, you do you. <laughs> uh, okay, let me, let me throw a great ball. 24 hour stream? Did, was there, was there talk of a 24 hour, 24 hour stream, Bulbasaur? I don't recall that. <laughs> All right, let's weaken it a little tiny baby bit more. Paralysis would be nice, no? Oh, it has Psychic? Damn. Good thing we resist that, but... Surprised it has it this early. Come on, Indeedy. Ah, dang it. Ooh, we got the special defense drop. Hold on, let me switch. Let me switch to Light Midnight. Should be able to resist a lot of what she has to dish out. Um, how about? Well, uh, this uh, this probably doesn't count as like a cave. Um, how about? I don't really have any better balls, honestly. Let's go for Great Ball. Oh, that 24-hour stream. <laughs> I thought you were talking about my 24-hour stream. I was like, I don't remember talk of doing a 24-hour stream. What are you talking about? Yes, I do know what you're talking about, Mobile Star. Yeah, they did a 24-hour stream where it was just, like, like forest and, no and forest noises. Um, <laughs> and, yeah, like... There was like a single like like five second frame in the entire like 24 hour stream where we briefly got to see Galarian Ponyta for the first time. It was actually quite hilarious. <laughs> Dapper Kirby suggests calling it Audi No. <laughs> I mean, that is pretty good. That is pretty good. I might have to do that, honestly. <laughs> That's a good suggestion, Dapper Kirby. SBS is legit gonna laugh when Lids is running around with NDD and Audino to see if it gives her uh, the dis bitch look. <laughs> Audi no. <laughs> oh, that's, that's actually really cute. Audi no. <laughs> okay, through the box. Beautiful. Well, at least we got something that we didn't have before. That is good. This is our, this is our first uh, catch today, I think. Ooh, on Onidua, that would have been a really good name, Star Champ. I, uh, the, I'll, um, I'll have to keep that one in the back pocket. <laughs> yeah, that that does make sense, Bulbasaur. Totally. Yeah, that's that's probably why it looks so good is because they did extra effort for it. Um, yeah. Let me. Uh, this was our first encounter, right? For the for the playthrough or for today, I should say. Uh, so yeah, let me let me add let me write that down so I can make sure to update the Discord afterwards, of course. Uh, NDD. Yeah, yeah, uh, Oni, Oni Dwa, Oni Dwa. That would be very, very cute. That would be very, very cute. I'll, like I said, I'll keep that one in the back pocket. If anything happens to this Audi, uh, this, this Audi, no, this NDD, then I will, I will have a backup name for it. Ooh, this guy. All right, let's fight you. Um. I took some damage while we were fighting that, huh? Um, I guess I could just restore its health real fast. 
We got the super potions for it, why not? Okay, there we go. Oh no, I like I like Odin Odi uh, uh Oni Dwa. I think that's really funny, Star Champ. I like that one. <laughs> okay, let's fight this guy. Hello. Uh a chef in its natural habitat. I always love when they have just like these random <laughs> these random like profession people just in very obscure, unusual places. All right, let's give it the thunder shock. Acid armor. It's not. Does that raise special defense? Just defense. Okay, that's fine then. Keep thunder shocking. Be really nice when we can get a better uh, electric move on uh, on Raichu here. But uh, actually, now that I think about it, it's probably not going to learn anything by level up. So I'll have to get some decent moves for it from the wire from the wild area because it's a stone evolution. So it's not going to get anything good. <laughs> it just occurred to me. Dabba Curry says it's because the chefs want mushrooms for the food. I, I mean, I suppose that must be the case. I suppose that must be the case. It checks out, I suppose. Ooh, yeah, he should have a swine up for 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 hunting hunting down them mushrooms. Oh, I could I could check the 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 move the move relearner guy. Yeah, I could do that. I don't know what what does um what does Alolan Raichu get by level up in uh, in Gen Eight. Yeah, it does, Dapper Kirby. It does. Well, it's just that like, most uh, most stone evolutions have like four moves. Um, but I didn't. I, I guess I could check and see what those you know like four moves are. Um, so yeah, I, I I could probably check on that. Okay, she nodic. Um, yeah, stay in. It has a crap ton. Ooh, cool. Well, wonderful then. I'll go. I'll go check that out after this. After this battle, I'll run back to. I'll run back to Stow on site again. <laughs> kind of funny. Ooh, it gets discharge and psychic. That's awesome, Dapper Kirby. Okay, yeah, we're in business then. We are in business. Let's uh, let's head back over there real fast. Oh, I can't call a flying taxi in the forest. Okay, fair enough. Hold on, let me walk my happy little butt out of here real fast. Okay. Keep trying to use a Pokemon with fly, and it's still not going to work, no matter how many times I try. <laughs> Uh, Bulbasaur says Swine Up and the entire line are immune to all weather damage and are, I think, the only Pokemon weak to all the starters types. Crazy. Fun little bits of trivia there, Bulbasaur. Okay, remember a move. How? Let's see what we got. Ooh, damn. Oh, it gets Thunderbolt too? Jeez. That's awesome. That's a lot of <laughs> that's a lot of variety. Holy cow! All right, well, fair enough. Let's uh, let's 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 play the play the gauntlet here then. <laughs> Hot damn! I didn't think it got that much. Uh, I don't know. Maybe Alolan Raichu's move set is different, or maybe they just have changed it so that Stone Evolutions actually have some decent moves. <laughs> but uh, regardless, very cool stuff. I might take Thunder Wave too. Yeah, I might. Thunderbolt. Yeah, I think I'll take um I think I'll think I'll take Thunder Wave. That could actually be useful. <laughs> Thunder Wave. I might do I want double team? I could take double team. That would be nice. That would be very nice. Light screen would be cool too. Uh, SPS says, so what does Audi, Audi 2.0 get? <laughs> That's another really good name for it in DD. Uh, I have no idea. Uh, we're not using it at the moment, so I won't bother really looking at it. But uh, 
Uh, it would be interesting to look it up, though. Ooh, Bulbasaur. Fun fact, um, if it's if it's at all helpful. Apparently, I don't know what the exact number is, but um, uh, once you've used enough heart scales with the with the guy in BDSP, he stops asking for heart scales. Uh, I don't know what how many you have to how many times you have to do it, but he does eventually just be like, oh, you you you've given me so many heart scales, I won't ask you for them anymore, and you can just do them infinitely from that point forward. So, just fun fact for you. Um, I, our good friend Dapper Kirby found that out. And I thought it was very interesting. Uh, okay, so yeah, I, I will. I think I'll take. I'll just take Thunder Wave. I will take Thunder Wave over Quick Attack, and then we'll call it a day. Uh, Sergeant says I think it's twenty. Yeah, it was something like that. It was. I remember it was a hefty amount, but like, yeah, like once it's done, it's done. So best to frankly just kind of grind up and then use them all at once so that you can you can just stop having to worry about it <laughs> um okay so i think we're good now let's head back to the forest oh it's 10 actually okay cool uh, i i presume you must have looked it up then star champ awesome yeah, that's that's not too bad. Ten is not too bad. Not too bad at all. Hold on, I want. Oh, okay. I gotta go up that cliff. All right, let's go up that cliff. Wait, can I not? Are you in like a little hole down here? Okay, never mind. We won't go that way. Yeah, only only in BDSP. Yeah, yeah. The the, the what? Yeah, what we were talking about was was only in BDSP, not the original Diamond and Pearl. Just to, yeah, just to be clear. <laughs> okay, big root, nice. Music in here is really cool too. Ooh, TM. Nor. All right. Fair enough. Dapper Kirby says, and at the very least, you do run into a decent number of heart scales during the post-game Ramanus Park uh, shard grind, so 10 is pretty easy to reach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do they, I don't know, do they become more common? I'm not really sure, but I didn't do a whole lot of underground stuff in the post-game for BDSP, so. Ooh, double battle? I didn't see that there was two people here. Oh, that's unfortunate. I hope that this is an ideal double battle for us. <laughs> Ooh, Voidex Car says U-Turn is also here. Cool, I'll, I'll keep an eye out for that. Okay, nine tails and curly ass. Oh no, not Billy. Not Billy. That is not that is not ideal. Uh, I guess I could go for a psychic on uh nine tails. And we'll switch out to the Curlia and Nine Tails? Uh Cindy will do good. Uh Starchamp says the music is very Luigi's mansion. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, it does kind of have a similar vibe. Absolutely, Starchamp. Life too. All right, fair enough. All right, let's go for. Let's double up on the nine tails. Try and get it out of here. Ooh, not quite. Good, nasty plots, a little, a little spooky. But we should be able to finish it up after this. Okay, disarming voice, that's fine. Alright, we'll finish you up. And yeah, we'll go for an air slash on Curlia. Your defense is garbage, so that should knock you right out. At least I hope so. Mm hmm. Very good, Cindy. Very good. Drumroll hits 38, learning Uproar? Nah, we don't need it. We don't need an Uproar. Not too spooky of a battle. We we did alright. We did alright. Learn Scary Face? Nah, we don't need it. There we go. Beautiful. Ooh, 
that must be you turn there. Uh, how do we get up there, I wonder? I presume we have to go around. Hyper potions, nice. I can't... See, it's, it's, it's really pretty in here, but it, it's kind of hard to see. I, I won't lie, it is very hard to see things. Um, let's see. Yeah, just keep how up front, that's good. Fight you real fast. Madam Judy. Ooh, she got the Ndidi. Ooh, she got the male one, too. <laughs> Let's go for the Thunderbolt. Espia says, yeah, this was a pain to navigate to on my TV. Wait, wait, what, what, wait, what was a pain to navigate to? I'm confused. <laughs> Ugh, confusion. Confusion stall, my favorite. Playing games with me in DD, I don't appreciate it. Oh yeah, 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 gotcha. <laughs> Sorry, I just went right over my head. Yeah, yeah, no, no, totally. It is, it is kind of hard. It's, it's just, yeah, it's just hard to see in certain spots, especially like because it looks like there could be like a little like nook or out cove that like crops out into somewhere else, but like then it's just not. It's just a dead end, and it's just like, oh, all right then. I thought I was onto something, but it turns out that I was the fool. Okay, another Indeedy. Let's switch out to Lime Midnight. SPS says, why hasn't uh, Psyduck been given a regional variant or a new evolution? That one is kind of surprising. It seems it seems uh, like prime for one, right? It seems like it would be one of the ones that would get one, but uh, it hasn't yet. Um, and, I, I mean, if uh, if the trailers for Scarlet Violet are anything to go by, it probably won't get one there either, because we've already seen that regular Psyduck is in the game, so... I mean, I guess it's not impossible, but it seems unlikely. Uh, Startup says, yeah, there's a reason I always turn the brightness higher on any game that, uh, than it says. Yeah, totally. <laughs> higher brightness is better. Nope, sorry, can't do it. Can't do it, Marini. You were just a, you were just a uh, Marini. I didn't see that there was a cliff there. What's over here? Uh, oh dang it, it put me all the way back over here. Lame. Uh, Sergeant says, the real question is why is Golduck blue? I know, I know it's truly egregious. And okay, this way, look at Morgrim there. How's it going, Morgrim? Oh, there's the wild Morgrim. I would have, I wouldn't have minded a Morgrim. I've never gotten to use that line yet. I really like Impidimp, so I don't really like Grimmsnarl very much, but I love Impidimp. He's super funny. Also, I found out uh, while I was doing some some scripting scripting code for um, a project I'm working on for the Discord, um, I found out that uh, the the Impidimp family is uh, is only male, and I never knew that. I never made that that realization. Yeah, uh, Impidimp, uh, Grimstar, all them. They are they are exclusively male. Did not know that. Uh, it makes sense that Hatterene and, and company are exclusively female, but I, I never realized that uh, that they were you know that parallel to one another. Oh, that was very interesting. There's Bell and Leia. Very good stuff. All right. Well, I do believe once again it's once again another shorter stream, but under the circumstances, I think that it makes sense once again to go ahead and cut it off here. Um, uh, I, it'll it'll give me some time to go and peruse the wild area, get the necessary watts and stuff, um, so that I can um, prepare to take on the 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 next gym in the next uh, Pokemon Shield stream. Uh, I think I think it just makes the most sense, frankly. Um, so yeah, I think I am going to go ahead and end stream here. Um, 
we made progress. We we got through the forest. We got through we got through the the story and snow on side. We got ourselves the fourth gym badge, which is wonderful. Um, so yeah, uh, we're moving we're moving at sort of a slow pace here, but that's all right. That's all right. I mean, more content, right? More content. Uh, but yeah, so we should. I mean, aside from grabbing those TMs, we should be basically good to, to jump right into fighting Opal on the next uh, the next stream. Um, so that's that's very good stuff. Um, but uh, yeah, so. Uh, today is, if I'm not mistaken, I believe today is Wednesday. Uh, ba -ba 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 yep, it is Wednesday. So um, that means that we do not stream tomorrow. Uh, so yeah, no stream tomorrow. Uh, it's my it's my day off from streaming. Um, but I will be back on Friday at uh, 11 a.m. Uh, Pacific Daylight Time. Uh, it's daylight time, so don't forget. Um, uh, I'll be back on Friday, 11 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time for... Um, we're gonna finish off Pokemon Ranger. Uh, it should, uh, I, if I'm not mistaken, that should be the final stream for Ranger because I think we should be finishing up the the, the story of the game. Um, so uh, if you guys want to see the conclusion of that playthrough, uh, that will be taking place on Friday. Um, the following day, uh, Saturday, for those who will really only care about Forever Lock stuff, um, we will be back uh, in Pokemon Shield on Saturday. Uh, once again, 11 a.m. Uh, Pacific Daylight Time. So. Um, you know, keep an eye on the Discord. Uh, the announcements, of course, will go up when I'm when I'm streaming, as always. Um, thanks everybody for coming. It was lots of fun today. I will see you guys on Friday for from some Pokemon Ranger. So, take care, everyone. Bye bye.